Hi everyone, it's me Daisy. So, um, I've been gone for a while. I was on a little road trip and, you know, just trying to catch up with, um, work stuff. I haven't gone back to work yet, but I'm almost there yet. And, um, I was setting up my teacher planner and I, you know, trainings and stuff like that. So I haven't had really, um, I really haven't had a chance to, um, do an updated, um, setup. And um, as you can see, I am not in the ring planner right now. Right now, I'm using a Chick Sparrow Creme Brulee, and well, it's not a Creme Brulee. Um, it's a chick, right now. I'm in a Chick Sparrow um, Cream Deluxe Pocket in a Black Beauty. Um, I really, really love the feel, the smell to this, and um, the size. I never thought that I would actually be using pocket size. I actually have a um, wide one, which is like the five and a half by eight and a half one. And um, it's like half sheet, but I'm using that one for journaling. So um, I, I started using this one as my on the go um, planner, you know, like traveler's notebook, not planner, but traveler's notebook. And um, I was kind of just playing with it for, you know, um, maybe like a week or so to see if I liked it, to see if it was going to work for me. And uh, I can honestly say that um, I haven't really used my ring planner in a while. It's actually just there um, in my closet right now um, with my other planners. And um, I've been using this one a lot more. It's really awesome. And um, so I'm going to share my setup with you. Okay. So, um, Again, it's a Chick Sparrow um, Cream Deluxe. It has the pockets and it's in Black Beauty. So this is actually what it looks like. I'm gonna turn to the side. Um, as you can see, I'm not really using this pen loop. I'm actually using, I'll show you what I'm using to hold my pen. And I'll talk about the pen that I'm using and which pens I keep referring to. Okay, so this is the side view. Right now I just have a little charm it's a little doggy paw i thought it was really cute and um i, I just think it's really cute and um i love dogs so it kind of goes with the whole black and white thing to it so let's dig into it okay so if we open this baby up um let's see so the first thing it's kind of little stuff but um i know that right now they're they're going to start offering the wide but I really don't mind the overhang. It doesn't bug me at all. I, I like the size of this. So inside the pockets, I really don't have much. Um, I usually put a paper clip or like an Ollie clip or something, but I don't have it. I took it out. So right now what I actually just have is like a little prayer. Um, and um, it's like a little prayer that, um, that I got from a book that I'm reading right now. Um, I'm reading a book called... Um, the Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. It was actually um, recommended by Angie Jarbo from uh, Plan to Create. And um, the book is really awesome. And um, it really makes you think a lot. You know, it, it has to do with, you know, like self reflection, becoming a better you, and, you know, just doing things for yourself. And so in the back of the book, there's a prayer. And so all I did was just type it up. And, um, and put it in here so that I can refer to it. it it's really, really nice. And um, the other thing I have in here is a little card. It's a poem by Emily Matthews, and it's uh, Believe in Yourself. Okay, this was a, um, inside a birthday card that my mom gave me years ago. I wanna say more than seven years ago, and I've had this baby for a while, and um, I just love what it says. It's a really nice message. I don't know if you can see it. But um, that's what it is, okay? So, um, anyways, um, so here's the setup. So the first thing I have, right now I'm use, using the paper from the Planner Society. And um, let me take this out so I can just show you better. I'll talk about the pen right now. Um, so this is all just paper from the Planner Society. And these are the little Project Life cards that came in here. So I just put them on top of the paper. And um, in the back is a... It says the five agreements, and the reason that I have this is because um, going back to the book that I'm reading, it's called the four agreements, but there's another book called the fifth agreement. So in total, there's five agreements, and um, 
The first one says, be impossible, be impossible, sorry. Be impeccable with your word. Don't take anything personally. Don't make assumptions. Always do your best and be skeptical and learn to listen. So, um, it goes back to the book that I'm reading. Um, I did finish reading the four agreements and right now I'm on the fifth agreement. And it has to do, um, just like I said, you know, self-reflection, being a better you. And so, what I have here behind this, um, is a feel notes in yellow and, um, I start using this, um, I want to use this as a little journal type, you know, so all I did was just like do a little drawing and then do a little, like a little journal. And so this is what I think I'm going to use. I just got this one, so that's why there's, it's pretty much blank because I just got it, um, recently. I just want to say like a few days ago. So I'm going to be using that as a little journal. Then here I have a picture of my husband and my dogs. Then the back is just a dash just um, paper from the Planner Society and says make today count. Then here's another Project Life card, like a little mini Project Life card, the Planner Society paper. Behind this, what do I have? Let's see. Okay, so then I have a little bit more of the die cuts and more paper. So here is my monthly. This is what I'm using. Um, the way I'm using this is kind of like a bullet journal. And um, it's not, it might not follow the exact same procedure as a bullet journal, but it's working for me the way I'm using it. So I'll um, just give you a quick flip through of it. So here, um, let's see, July, okay? So I'm just using the little dots from the market dots, and that's what I'm, uh, I'm using for that. Um, I just started doing July and August because I just got it. And so I'll I'll cap, I will go back and add some information here just to have it handy, but um it's like a little it's some monthly inserts that I got from um, I want to say where did I get it from Paper Penguin Co. There you go. That's where I got it from Paper Penguin Co. And um, see there you go. It's Paper Penguin Co. A lot of the inserts that you'll see here are from Paper Penguin Co. Maybe one will be Field Notes, maybe one will be Foxy, but the majority of them I got from Paper Penguin Co. Because, and they're just blank grid, um, I didn't really, the only one that actually came with something was a monthly, but all the other ones are blank. Okay, so this is where, I, um, this is what I'm using as my bullet journal. So right now I just have July 2016 and, um, that's the only thing I have right now because this is July and if I get into August then I'll add August on the bottom but for right now it's just July because that's what currently we're working on um when I'm finished with this then I'll add the month where I left off at and the new one so let me just give you a quick flip through of how it's working so this is my key I actually typed it up and then just added the the little shapes and the symbols and stuff because it makes it easier I can just um, stick it on here with um, sticker paper actually this one's just regular paper I just glued it on there so here's my index and then here's my July goals then this one was I was doing um, a few days per page so it was like two days or three days a week per page and so I was just trying it out when I first started see this is where I started July 1 and so I was just trying out like a different um, like multiple days on one day to see how it worked and um, and I was putting a date stamp and then once I got to here then I realized that I actually wanted to put more stuff in each day and so I ended up changing it to one day um, per page and um, I have to say that I'm loving the one day per page I feel like I have more space to put things in and I feel like this is the layout that's gonna work for me and right now I've been trying this for a week I've been doing this for a week already and I'm loving this a lot more so I will be doing the one day per page versus the multiple days per page so here is Monday and this the rest of it um, as you can see I I have one little sticker here and then one here but I'm really not concerned about the stickers just because I do have an Erin Condren and that's the one where I can decorate and make it pretty if I want this is just kind of like my bullet journal on the go I like it simple just straightforward and it's really working for me so I'm really liking it and so here I'm just putting the hydrate what I'm eating exercise my to-do's daily habits 
And then here on the top, I realized that I had some space. So then I started adding a quote. I mean, and um, I think it looks nice with the quote on top. So then here's Friday. This is Saturday. Here's Sunday. And then this is my, this is my, um, I just filled this out. This is my July review. So this is kind of my strengths and my improvement areas. And then at the bottom, I just put goodbye July. And I already started with um, August. I don't know why, but I was thinking it was July still. And so I put July, but then I crossed it off. And which is fine, you know, if it was um, uh, my other planner, um, I, I probably would have whited out and stuff. And But you know what? This is my bullet journal. And so if I make mistakes, oh well. Okay. So here I did the... Um, the monthly layout, you know, the, the number of days with the day of the week next to it, and then just um, things that I need to remember and stuff. And then here are my August goals. Here's the birthdays, family goals, personal goals, and health. And then here's, oh, here's what I'm using to um, to write, to help me write better. It's a Taroko design. It's just a little traveler's notebook, pocket size, um, little kind of like a roller sheet. And um, I just put it behind the paper and it helps me to, you know, um, write better. And so, um, obviously, I haven't written August 1 yet, which I will a little bit later tonight when I um, start thinking about what I need to do tomorrow. But, um, and that's how, that's how, pretty much how I'm using. As you can see, I did number the pages on the bottom. That way I can add it to my index, which is over here. And um, that's pretty much it. That's my bullet journal. Then the back, I have another little die cut, plunger-sided paper. Then here I just have, um, I got one of those little pocket um, passport inserts. Where's the back of it? It's over here, so it's pretty much blank. And uh, so I'm just putting coupons and little reward cards that I want to remember to use. Here's my finance. So I just have like bills and stuff, and then I put like the bill, the date, the amount, clear these are all bills combined you know just all, all together that um, I might have my husband has and stuff and then here on this side I'm gonna write down the things that I buy and um, so that's pretty much it and I'll be doing this for each month um, the July that passed I already paper clipped so this is this brand new one is for August and then the back I have um, I have like um, here I'll cover this but um I have like bills and then I have the account that I use to pay, the date, and then the the due amount. Um, a lot of them are blank, but um, if there's a specific amount that's due, like I know for my school loans there's a specific amount, then I, I did write the amount. For the other things, I just left it blank. And then the back here, just loose, is my brain dump little um, insert. And this is where I just write down just random stuff that doesn't make sense there's no particular i just write down the date it's not an, a daily thing it's more like whatever i think of this one was because i was on vacation so um i just wrote down little random stuff that i had to do and then this is just like things that i think of you know just and i just write down there's no this one kind of was just a list of things that you know to work on and it's kind of like a reflection based on the book that i was reading and that's pretty much it. That's my um, traveler's notebook setup. Oh, I did forget to mention, sorry, that right here, um, I forgot to show you, but this right here is um, an Erin Condren um, pen little loop thing. And um, they're, I think they're like $5 or something or maybe less. But um, I have a few of them. So I figured I could just, so I just attached it to the back of the dashboard. And then I just stick my pen loop in there. I'm trying to make this one. Um, the only thing that about this pen loop is that um, it's kind of like um, it's not really this um, traveler's notebook. It's not that old, and so the pen loop is kind of like still trying to fold in. And I'm trying to train it to fold out so that see my inserts kind of like stick out a little, so it won't really wrap around. So I'm just trying to train it to kind of like fold out. So I just leave it like that, but I'm not really using it. Um, I'm using this one right here, and um, this one I'm just kind of leaving out so that it kind of bends a little and it kind of gets a little bit floppier. Okay, so that's my traveler's notebook. So the pens that I'm using right now 
are um this one's called the muji pen it's a 0 0.5 pen it's a japanese um pen and um it's i mean it's not fancy as you can see not at all and uh, but it writes awesome i really really like how it writes then the other pen i'm using to write down the month or just do like a little bit nicer writing is the Tombo food I think it's the food in Fudeno Souk, I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. But um this is the brush pen in soft. And then I have the Faber Castell, the Pit Artist pen. And um, this is what I used to write down just the dates on top. And so and um then I have the this one is a pilot prera. It's kind of like it's a fountain pen but it's the one that comes with the ink so um, you can buy the ink the little it comes with the little inks and you just have to insert it in there you don't have to actually dip it it does come with a converter so you can convert it into like the other kind the other type of fountain um, pen that you can dip but um, I bought the ink I just I didn't want to complicate my life I wanted to make it easier on me so um, and this is a medium one so um, this is a medium one and it comes with the ink and I bought just extra ink um, to just put inside there. And then the other two things that I'm using are the Coletto, my Coletto pens. The black one and the pink one. And um, they have the colors that I'm using to color code in my um, bullet journal and in my monthly. And that's pretty much what I'm using for pens. So these are my pens. All of these are the pens that I'm using right now. And I carry them in a little... Um, Kipling um, pencil pouch, the little tiny one, and then some of the other things that I'm using for my bullet journal and um, inside my inserts are these Dear Lily Design um, stencils. Um, so I'm just, I like the size, they're really um, small and they're easy to carry, so I just carry them inside my little pencil pouch. And uh, so these are different designs, okay. These are like the teardrop, the hexagon, circle. These are like, uh, well, these are rectangles and squares. These are just flags and different shapes. These are kind of like old rounded squares. And um, these are like ovals. And um, then we have some little flower type shapes. And these are the tracking ones. And um, so they have little flowers and circles and other little cute shapes. Then we have this one right here, and then this one. This one's perfect for like the hydrating, tracking, um, um, like seven days. So if you turn it this way, you have the seven. If you turn it this way, it's six, okay? So you can use it to track um, your water, or other habits that you're tracking. And um, then the other thing that I'm using are, um, let's see, can't seem to grab them. Okay, so are, are these little dots that I'm using in my monthly? I only use it in my monthly calendar and um, for color coding and it kind of goes with the colors that I have in my Colettos. And um, these are actually the market dots. I bought them on Amazon and um, it, it was a bunch of them. They, it was a bunch of the colors that came in one pack. They have the transparent one and they have like the regular ones and you get a whole bunch of them for a decent um, price. So I just have a bunch of them and I cut the top and bottom just to make them easier to carry, like in a little envelope. And that's pretty much it. This is what I'm using right now. Stickers wise, um, like I said, I have my iron condren and so I'm not really worried about decorating right now. And I'm pretty much keeping it simple. And um, this is really working for me right now. I haven't touched my ring planner in about a month. So um, I, the setup is working fantastic. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. But for right now, this is what's working for me, and this is what I'll be using. Um, if I change the setup or anything like that, um, once if I get a different traveler's notebook, then I'll do an, another setup video. And um, and if I change a few things, then obviously I'll do like an updated one. Um, if you want to see how I do the bullet journal. How I plan out the daily and stuff like that then um, I can do a video on that just let me know um, put it in the comments but for right now this is it this is what's working for me and I'm really happy okay so I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions um, put them in the comments let me know 
I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.